Let's look at Isaiah chapter 41, verse 17. When the poor and needy seek water and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Praise the Lord. A lot of us don't understand the way God operates. Many of us don't understand the God we serve. And because of that, we find it very difficult to enjoy the blessings of God. The one you don't know, that one you can never en enjoy and maintain a relationship with him. This woman cried to God. Instead of using the remaining strength in her to be moving, she kept the baby somewhere and she cried to God. In life, there is nothing like stopping that will give you progress. Whether the speed is slow, whether it is fast, keep moving. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. In life, in the journey of this life, in the race of your life, don't stop. Don't dare stop. Keep moving. You will get there. Life is over when you give up. Look at that small boy. Very young boy, Ajiri. This boy came and told the mother, I said, I'm going to a church today. I am not going home with these crushes. A small boy. That boy cannot be more than 10 years old. He came to church. And as he shouted, Happy New Year, she threw away the crutches. You could see very clearly the X-ray. Medical reports before and after. You could see it very clearly. And the boy today is moving without crutches. It's moving without crutches. A small boy getting his miracle by understanding who God is and gaining his faith into the understanding he has about God. There are times that a lot of Christians will see themselves in some kind of situation and decide to give up. But giving up, giving up is the end. Giving up. If you can't keep moving, you must get there. 